What's up you guys, it's Metal Grammel. I'm here to talk to you about Black Ops 3, uh, supposedly the next Call of Duty coming out this year. And everyone's really stoked for it, thanks to its prequel, Black Ops 2. It's, it was a really successful game, and I actually played that more than any Call of Duty I've ever played, believe it or not. And I'm really getting into Advanced Warfare as of right now. So, let's get into the video. Black Ops 3, there's like theories of it being set in World War 2 or be another future game. And I have a reasoning for the futuristic aspect of the game, like if they want to put it in the future, then here, here would be my reason for it. The, the campaign of Black Ops 2 had multiple endings in the game you could get if you did certain actions during that campaign. And one of those endings you actually got was where Menendez actually escapes from the prison and goes out of his way to kill Woods in the nursing home. So. What, what might happen if they do continue the storyline? Because I'm pretty sure after that, everybody wanted to know, like, what, what happens now? Is he going to come back, or what's he going to do? So, I have a prediction for the whole, like, plot. If I hope this is true, so I don't sound stupid, but it's just a theory, you guys. Don't take it personally. I actually predict that if continued from Black Ops 2, Menendez will actually try and seek out Mason and Harper if you didn't kill Harper in the campaign as revenge for terminating Cortis D. As seen at the end of like Black Ops 2, there was a cutscene showing riots and civilians in the street. I don't know if you guys remember that, but they were throwing Molotovs and just breaking everything. It was crazy. But I'm not too sure what that video was surely about, whether it was pre Cortis D or post Cortis D, who knows. But something actually tells me that Cortis D is still alive and kicking because I mean, Menendez was the face of Cortis D, but somebody might have actually stepped up. So, does that mean will Menendez actually return, or will he just hide away somewhere? Who knows? Maybe there will be an even bigger antagonist. So, that was my prediction for the whole futuristic of the Black Ops 3 setting. So, let's get into my personal favorite. I really want the World War 2 setting. Everybody's been posting on it, and it's, it's probably going to be... What, what everybody wants right now because uh, like for a while COD has been pumping out futuristic games and th I'm not saying they're boring but it's just kind of like a slap in the face every year don't don't take that the wrong way but um a lot of people really really want uh World War 2 so what is what does this mean for Black Ops 3 uh if Treyarch listens to the community then the chances of World War II style Call of Duty may come to our consoles this fall. A lot of people are messaging and talking about like how the gameplay felt running through like Berlin and stuff with a trench gun or a Tommy gun and like that's probably like sparking interest with Treyarch right now like hey we need to actually get our audience to still stay interested in these games we can't keep doing this futuristic stuff. I'm not saying that's exactly what they're thinking, but it's probably something they should be. Now, I actually do have multiple story predictions for um, Black Ops 3, if it is set in World War II. The first one is that we will actually get to play through the eyes of Re ugh, Reznov, which builds up to the events of Black Ops 1, maybe, such as like mission the mission from Black Ops 1. While on the ship, you encounter like the first time you see element 115 in the chamber of soldiers how they all die that may be something there i'm not too sure guys just don't yell at me <laughs> my second prediction is that the campaign this this is probably not gonna happen this is definitely but seriously come on guys think how awesome this would be if that we could play as the four zombie characters N nikolai tank richtofen and takio both are from like all of them are from each sides of the armies during world war ii so wouldn't it be extremely badass if we had a campaign where it was not only one person, but we got to play as like four different, like through the eyes of four different characters, and it also led up to the events of zombies. Now, that, that theory is really silly. I wish it would happen, even though it's probably not going to. But still, it would, come on Treyarch, let's get this going here. <laughs> My third prediction is that the game will actually be a sequel to World at War. You heard it, guys. World at War 2. The game everybody's been looking forward to, wanting it. It's it's just a really, really wanted game right now. So, I don't know if they would be titling this Black Ops 3 or World at War 2. That is the thing. 
So the game would actually War at War had probably the first most goriest campaign ever. I mean, you could shoot people's legs off, arms off, heads off, and it was just it it, it really shocked people because I mean that was a big step up from Modern Warfare One, where you 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 did get to shoot um, Zakayev's arm off. But it, it was just a time sequence thing. You didn't really get to do that by choice. But in the World at War campaign, you actually did get to take a, let's say, take a trench gun and blow someone's leg, head, or arm off. It was just that much enjoyable. And that, that's what they've been missing from the Call of Duty campaign. We actually need more gore to feel realistic. Because, come on, think about it. If you had a laser gun and you were just, like, shooting somebody, wouldn't you think, like, a limb would fall off or something? It, it just kind of seems like Star Wars to me, even though, like, Star Wars did lose limbs as well, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, my fourth and final prediction. New characters, new story, different world, and what I, what I mean from that is, like, none of the events in this game even relate to any of the, the other Call of Duties. Maybe zombies, if they do choose to continue, which they, they're gonna continue. Let's, let's be honest, guys. Zombies is probably the if not the best mode because a lot of people play multiplayer but zombies really like started kicking ass after the dlcs of um war at war so in this you could see a golden opportunity that treyarch now has three years to perfect everything seeing the fact that they're on a three-year cycle seeing because like sledgehammer joined the team so there's three different franchises of call of duty and to me, that that actually it's it's makes me feel more confident in the game now, because instead of pumping one out every two years, they actually have another full year to make sure everything's fine, the graphics are more crisp and clear, and the audio is just perfect. So that those are my predictions, you guys. Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. Like, leave a comment, subscribe. This is Mental Grandma. Peace out.